What is going on guys? Uh, today I got another video for you on uh, my Tahoe. Uh, this will go along with all you guys in the Silverados, the Suburbans, Tahoes, uh, any other like of avalanche that you may have. Um, this is going to be a video over how to fix the tow button issue in your gear shifter. See how it kicks off, and then sometimes. Sometimes if you, like that right there, how I can almost slap shift and it'll come on. So, I know a lot of, I know this problem is bugging the shit out of a lot of you guys. So, let me show you what I found out. Take your screw out that's down here. It gives you some give, gives you some free room to move around. And then you're going to want to take and pop this top off. Comes, comes apart. And then, if you guys see your boot right here. You could actually take your boot and just pop it out like so. Once you pop it out, you mainly don't even have to take this off. Really, you don't have to, but for, for you guys that are, it's going to be an, a, a pain in the butt to get this back on, you will have to take this off just so it sits in the track itself and, and is fixed. So, at this point, this is the wire that you are worried about. This is going to be your wire that is making your toe come on, off, uh, switching when you're going from reverse, neutral drive, first through second, third, whatever you got. Um, this is your toe button wire. It is orange. Um, I, this is a 2007 Chevrolet Tahoe, uh, 5.3 LTZ, four wheel drive, um, a Silverado Avalanche through 2007 uh, to 14 I would imagine would be that identical uh, they should still stick with an orange wire if not this is still going to be your only wire in your gear shifter that is this accessible like this just because your toe button is right there so I as you can see I have already fixed mine the problem with these wires is is whenever we shift the wire itself is so loose that it gets caught. It gets caught in between these grooves right here. And as you do that over and over and over and over again and going down all the way into drive to reverse, whatever gear you may have to be in, it eats that wire away. And then once you finally hit it, it'll make connection and it'll turn your toe button on. So. For you guys that are having a big deal with this and about ready to jerk the column out, pop the boot off, look at the wire, I promise you it's naked somewhere, it's chipped somewhere, the, the uh, connection is, is not great, check it and that will fix it for you guys, I promise. It's a very quick and simple fix. Don't go pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a steering column, for a fuse, for, uh, for looking for a fuse, for looking for other stuff pop this boot off there's a little connector back here as hopefully you can see it that little connector all it's going to do is stay inside that steering column just to hold the wire there pop that out so you can have some room to move the wire back and forth and then cut splice and i taped mine I mean, it's just, it was going to be kind of a, a little bit of a pain to get in there with the soldering gun, and it, it's perfectly fine. I, I figured out what my problem was. They have the wire too close to the steering column, and it's tight. So every time we shift, it chips the wire, it clips it, and cuts it. So that is going to be your off fix for this. Again, 07 Tahoe, same thing as the Silverado. I've seen the exact same thing uh be wrong with the early 2000 model tahos um i'm not sure on the orange wire though but again that is going to be the only wire that's that should be there that's that's it so 
check for marks, check for chips, check for loose connection. So I hope you guys like this. Uh, please stick around for more videos. Please subscribe, comment, like. If you have any advice for me, shoot it to me. Uh, but again, thanks guys.